the John Smith Stanley Cap Hurdle is next. And it's our two miles north to 140. And at the top we've got a sure posh for David Robertson. Kinvara Windmill, Martin Little, Indian Tonic, Craig Beckwith, Duke of Bavaria and American Pickers for Paul Rhodes. Blinded for Graham Clutterbuck, E-Commerce, Leon Van Rensburg, Ozark Muse for Vinnie Gerard, Baltic Sunrise for Graham Clutterbuck and China Girl for Alex Cherry. With Ard Patrick for Kevin Minahan, Palace Attraction for Padraig Hogan, and finally Judy T for Obi Wan. So a field of 13, patiently waiting for the starter to set them on their way. Let's hope these horses run a bit faster than the card. The card is creeping up slowly. And <laughs> away we go. And it's going to be e commerce, I think, who's going to go into the lead. Short run to the first. And they're all safely over it with Kinvara Wimble a bit slow at the back. But it's e-commerce over the in the lead then from Palace Attraction and Judy T. Then comes Ashura Posh and Ard Patrick as they race towards the second of the nine. They're not hanging about here and you can see Kinvara Woman at the back being scrubbed along already to keep up. But it's e-commerce who's setting a blinding pace at this point. And there's gone four or five lengths clear. As they get to the second, didn't jump it all that quickly though. The second horse is the first of the Grace Duke of Bavaria. Then Judy T on the rail with on the outside of that one. China Girl, Ozark Muse in the green as they get over the third. And again, the jumping by the leader was not exactly swift. And that's probably just slowing him down a little bit. But e-commerce is still the leader. And e-commerce is five clear of Duke of Bavaria, China Girl, Judy T and Ozark Muse. who are virtually in a line. Then American Pickers and Ard Patrick. And Ashura Posh and Indian Tonic who are also virtually in a line. And then there's another three of them virtually in a line as well. Baltic Sunrise, Palace Attraction and Blinded with Kinvara Windmill. The one racing alone at the back. So e-commerce is clear in front. Seems to be travelling well enough. Leads by only about three though now. The pack are definitely closing on the leader. Judy T and Duke of Bavaria and Ozark Muse, China Girl and Ashura Posh, Indian Tonic is there as well as they complete this long run towards the next. They'll be inside the final mile shortly and they'll take this next hurdle with e-commerce three clear. Over it they all go and they're all over it safely with e-commerce still in front. China Girl has now moved a little bit wider into second. Duke of Bavaria, Ozark Muse, Julie T. Hard Patrick still there as well. They're all going to There's a crashing fall there for Hard Patrick. So Hard Patrick has gone. The first one to depart the race. You don't see that many fallers in the hurdles. Well, that one was a nasty looking one. And it's e commerce and China Girl first and second from Duke of Bavaria third. And it's China Girl's gone on now. Then as they race into the final five furlongs, they've still got three flights to take. And it's e commerce who's in the lead. E commerce then from China Girl. E commerce has fought back, but China Girl is battling back as well on the outside. Kimvara windmills virtually pulled up as they get over the third from home. And it's e commerce and China Girl. China Girl on the near side. E commerce on the rail. They're being chased by Ozark Muse and Palace Attraction. Duke of Bavaria and Judy T still trying to get into it. The grey blinded is running on as well. But the leaders are now coming back to the pack, and suddenly it's wide open with two to jump. And it's e commerce and China Girl from Palace Attraction and Duke of Bavaria. Then Judy T and blinded as they come down towards the second last flight. Then now, and it's still just China Girl. Lands in the lead. China Girl's in front from the centre of the track. Palace Attraction. Palace Attraction is starting to wear down the leader. China Girl. E commerce is trying to fight back. Ashura Posh is running on over the final flight. They go, and it's Palace Attraction. Palace Attraction from e-commerce trying to fight back. Palace Attraction's in the lead. Half a furlong to go. Palace Attraction's got no company. E-commerce has got the rail, but Palace Attraction has got to hold on and take it. Palace Attraction up towards the line just holds on from e-commerce and trying to get on a short approach. And those aren't using Duke of Bavaria and blinded. And Baltic Sunrise was the last one to finish. And Padre Hogan gets a winner. Palace Attraction beating the Long time leader e-commerce who came back for a second go. China Girl stuck on well for a while. Palace Attraction wins it then for Padre Hogan. E-commerce Leon Van Rensburg was second. China Girl Alex Cherry was third. Ashura Posh, David Rawson fourth. And Ozark Muse for Vinnie Gerard was fifth. <laughs>